Not long ago, Firefly Aerospace attempted their second ever orbital test flight and reported successful results. This was a massive milestone for the company and the start of consistent launch operations. Soon after the mission, Firefly made it clear that they would be attempting a total of 6 missions in 2023 and 12 in 2024, an extremely ambitious timeline for a company that only just reached orbit. Recently, they announced more testing and preparation for future launches in the coming months. The Alpha rocket is hoping to become a consistent and capable launch vehicle for small satellites and other payloads. All of which comes in addition to continued work on the company's Blue Ghost lunar lander which is approaching its launch date as well. Firefly's small launch vehicle Alpha is hoping to provide more responsive, reliable, and affordable launch services for commercial, civil, and national security missions. However, scaling a rocket and performing multiple launches is much easier said than done. Here I'll go more in depth into the recent Firefly and Alpha progress, the plan for this launch vehicle, what to expect in the coming months, and more. Since the last orbital test flight, Firefly Aerospace has been busy preparing for an active year of missions. Just a few days ago on the 21st, the company tweeted saying, Another beautiful Texas sunset highlights our Alpha rocket test stand as the team prepares multiple launches this year. Testing each launch vehicle before it flies is key to our mission success. Back in October, Firefly announced that its Alpha FLTA-002 mission successfully reached orbit and deployed customer payloads, lifting off on October 1st at 12.01 a.m. PST from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. They pointed out that with the success of this mission, Firefly became the first company to launch and reach orbit from U.S. soil in only its second attempt. They also pointed out that Firefly became the first and only U.S. commercial space company with a rocket ready to take customers to space in the highly desired 1300 kilogram payload lift class. With the success of this flight, Firefly has announced to the world there is a new orbital launch vehicle, available today, with a capacity that is pivotal to our commercial and government customers, said Bill Weber, Firefly CEO. Proving our flight and deployment capabilities on only our second attempt is a testament to the maturity of our technology and the expertise of our team. This is an exciting day for Firefly, and we have many, many more ahead. I could not be more excited for the Firefly team. Alpha is an all-composite rocket that uses patented tap-off engine cycle technology which reduces cost and improves efficiency while maintaining the strength and reliability of the rocket. During the mission, Alpha successfully completed all major technical milestones, including a two-burn maneuver, relighting the second stage during its first orbital flight. I am so proud of everyone in the company, both past and present, who have shared my dream of starting a launch company that would further revolutionize the space economy, said Tom Markuzik, Firefly founder and chief technology advisor. The reason this second orbital test flight is so important has to do with the future missions. Right now, Firefly is completing the Acceptance Testing Protocol, or ATP, for its Alpha 3 vehicle in preparation for its upcoming NASA VCLS Demo 2 FB Elena 43 launch. In addition, the company was quoted saying, Firefly continues the production of multiple rockets at its Texas manufacturing facilities using all the lessons learned from existing flights and testing. Firefly is scheduled for six Alpha launches to take customer payloads to space in 2023 and 12 more in 2024. Right now, it looks like they are working toward that ambitious goal. In reality, six launches in 2023 is a hefty goal that will be quite hard for the company to do. However, it is possible as Firefly was working ahead even before the last test flight. In various videos from the company, you can see future Alpha launch vehicles in the background getting ready for upcoming missions. No matter the outcome, it's clear Firefly wants to become a busy launch provider with an impressive launch cadence, something we can look forward to in the coming months. Now that we know more about Firefly's last flight and its upcoming schedule, we can take a closer look at the vehicle itself and its unique design. Firefly's small lift launch vehicle Alpha is meant to provide more responsive, reliable, and affordable launch services for commercial, civil, and national security missions. Using flight-proven rocket technologies, Alpha is 100% manufactured in America and is the only U.S. orbital rocket ready to take customers to space in its launch class. Alpha's pump-fed, region-cooled engines use Firefly's patented tap-off cycle that removes the need for excess engine components. The simple design allows them to reduce weight and launch more mass to orbit while maintaining the reliability of the rocket. Firefly also utilizes advanced carbon fiber composites for Alpha's entire airframe and cryogenic propellant tanks, enabling a strong, lightweight vehicle. In terms of infrastructure, with dedicated launch facilities at the Vandenberg Space Force Base, Firefly is also expanding operations on the East Coast at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station to support more flexible launch options. For propulsion, Alpha utilizes well-established technology. Both stages use common designs, copper region cooled LOX slash RP-1 thrust chambers, a simple tap-off cycle which drives single shaft turbo pumps, nozzle mounted turbine exhaust manifolds, and hydraulic actuators. Innovations in Firefly engines include their simple crossfire injector, tap-off geometry, trimmable propellant main valves, and ultra-compact horizontal turbo pump mounting. 
The upper stage engine, named Lightning, includes a turbine exhaust cooled refractory metal eye area ratio nozzle extension. The first stage Revo engines feature simple single axis gimbling. Consistent with the overall Alpha vehicle design, cost and performance are traded and optimized in Lightning and Reaver components to provide the best payload performance value. In terms of the rocket structure, Firefly utilizes advanced carbon fiber composites for the entire airframe of Alpha, including the linerless cryogenic propellant tanks. They point out that composite materials are ideally suited to launch vehicle structures due to their high strength, low density, and tailorable material properties. This allows Firefly Alpha to lift heavier payloads than a similar metal rocket. Not only is the propulsion and structure important, but also the avionics. Firefly avionics hardware, such as a flight computer and communication system, utilize a combination of custom-designed and commercial off-the-shelf or COTS components with established flight heritage. Data acquisition is accomplished using a modular data acquisition chassis, which provides analog to digital conversion of all sensor data, and further packages the data and sends it to the flight computer via an onboard Ethernet network. The flight computer incorporates all vehicle telemetry and transmits data along the video to various Earth ground stations along the flight trajectory. Focusing back on the structure, the Alpha Payload Fairing, or PLF, is a carbon composite structure developed, manufactured, and qualified by Firefly. It measures 2.2 meters, or 7.2 feet in diameter, and 5 meters, or 16.4 feet in height. The fairing separation system employs a debris-free, low-shock pneumatic separation system fully tested prior to each flight, all of which together creates Firefly's Alpha launch vehicle. Focusing back on its future, late last year, Firefly announced that the company had been selected by the U.S. Space Force's Space Systems Command, or SSC, to provide launch services for the Victus Knox mission. The effort was awarded as the Tactically Responsive Space Launch Service Task Order under the Orbital Services Program 4 contract. The Victus Knox mission will demonstrate an end-to-end -end tactically responsive space capability, including the launch segment, space segment, ground segment, and on-orbit operations. Victus Knox will perform a space domain awareness mission from low Earth orbit. We are honored to be chosen by Space Force for this important national security mission, said Bill Weber. Now more than ever, our country needs the ability for quick, responsive capabilities to combat threats in space. Our Alpha launch vehicle is designed to drive affordable, rapid access to space. We look forward to working with everyone along with our experienced team at Space Force to help bring this innovation to the national security community. The contract is worth $17.6 million and is part of the U.S. Space Force's mission to demonstrate end-to-end -end tactical responsive space capabilities, one of the multiple missions joining the growing list of Firefly's future launches. Firefly Aerospace is trying to increase launch cadence after its first successful mission. They have a large number of launches in place already and are trying to increase launch cadence. This includes a goal of 6 launches this year and 12 the next year. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.